Guys, this video is going to break a lot of your hearts. These are the things that women say and the actions that they do when they're about to cheat on you or when they're cheating on you or they done fell out of love with you and found somebody else. Guys, these are the things that they do. First thing first, because a lot of guys, common sense ain't that common. They don't live the stoic life. So a lot of guys don't understand when her patterns change. Guys, if you got a bitch that loved the FaceTime, then all of a sudden she just stopped FaceTiming. It's a nigga. Life be lifing, but it's a nigga. I promise you. Put it in the comment section. It's a nigga, I promise you. Listen, guys. When your girl is a freak, then all of a sudden... She just ain't fucking with you like that. Y'all ain't fucking like that. Y'all went from fucking every day to every so often. Now you got to initiate it all the time. It's a nigga. They're going to tell you lies like they're trying to find themselves. Some women going to try to manipulate you and say, you're the problem. You um, doing this wrong or whatever. Just to hide the fact that she got a nigga. You understand? Let me tell you the difference between a female intelligence and a man dumbness. A man can get mad at a woman and he will literally get mad and throw something, hit her and say, you bitch asshole, that's why I slept with your sister. That's why I slept with two girls yesterday and that's why I got a girl pregnant. He gonna expose everything. You're gonna hurt her feelings. She's not gonna tell you cause she got intelligence. You done dumb shit. She's not gonna tell you, you're right. I fucked your daddy. I fucked the landscaper. She's going to keep that and go to the grave with it. And the difference between her homegirls and your homeboys, your homeboys, as soon as you get off the phone telling your business, they go tell your business to their other homeboys. Them girls keep it within the circle, guys. I'm trying to tell you. That's how they keep it up on, guys. But with that said, let me go ahead and not make this long. When a girl cheats, She's going to overdo it. That's what a lot of women don't understand. When a woman starts sending you long paragraphs on why she can't attend something or why she can't talk to you or why her patterns change. See, a woman noticed that her patterns change. So if a woman was innocent, they wouldn't try to sit there and write paragraphs. Meaning this, for example, if I take my chain, right, this big ass heavy motherfucker. If I take this big motherfucker, right, I sit it right here. I got four people in the crib. If that come up missing, if three people be like, I don't know where it's at, fam, and I hope you ain't accusing me, but I hope you find it, they probably didn't take it. That person that's looking under the couch, that person that's steady saying too much, well, such and such, such and such, and they stressing it more than you stressing it then they probably the one that took it or know who took it. Now, that's the same thing with a woman. For example, let's say she call you every morning at 8 o'clock and she talk to you from 8 to 8.30 till she get to work. Then all of a sudden, somebody else entertaining her. She's not going to keep it 100 like a woman that's not cheating and say, babes, um, I be busy. And I can't call you every morning. No, she's going to say, I can't call you this morning because I got to take my child to school. This happened. My teeth broke out. Oh, my God, my car running hot. And it's going to sound like a whole fucking movie. Ladies, that's how guys can tell that you're fucking lying. Then on top of that, your actions don't match your stories. Now, I don't agree with looking at girls' stories. But... Look at what girls tell us guys, then check out her stories. They can't get a babysitter. They can't um, get no free time. They stressed out at work. But every time you look at their stories, they in the club. They in the streets. They at the liquor house. They at the beach. Man, come on, man. It's all manipulation. Don't fall for these fucking mind games. Be stoic. You can have emotions, but just don't show them. Don't just do none of that. The less you tell a woman is the better. Let her talk. She will expose herself. 
So listen to what I'm telling you. If you just sit back and be an alpha male and act like nothing bother you and really treat women like you a therapist, just listen to them talk. Women talk too much. She'll tell you everything that you need to know and you can make the decision whether you want to fuck with her or not. I promise you, so many girls going to talk about their ex. They're going to talk about their life. They can't get over it. They can't. They don't know how to stop. They're just going to vent. They're going to vent. The more comfortable you make a woman, the more she's going to expose her own damn self. All you have to do is sit back and do the things that stoics do. It's better to listen than to speak. Guys, you can talk yourself out some pussy. You can never not talk yourself out some pussy. Meaning, you're talking too much. Have y'all never heard the saying that stoics say? that uh she wanted him until he opened his mouth they don't mean she wanted him and then he opened his mouth and he ain't had no teeth no she wanted him till he started talking and he exposed how stupid he really fucking is less is more guys but how you know your woman cheating all right listen this bitch normally just be chilling all of a sudden every weekend she got her nails done she got her hair in whole different styles. Now she wearing her stomach out, her cleavage out, her ass out. She ain't that type of girl. It's somebody that got her feeling sexy. It's somebody that got her doing that. Guys, change mean change. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand that. Shit just don't happen out the blue, guys. And then another thing you don't understand. Every time her homegirl get a new boyfriend or husband, that mean he got extra homeboys Y'all know how shit work. When you get on a new girl, your boy say, where the homegirls at? Same thing, guys. Then, they best friends be having brothers, cousins. They husbands and boyfriends be having homies and brothers and cousins. And you think you the only one? I'm just telling you the lies they tell. Girls tell these lies. I don't have a babysitter. When they do, but they just had another nigga house. I got to work. I bet you if you call that job sheen at work, it's a lot of lies, man, that's wrapped around it, man. But the biggest lie that they tell you is, I don't fuck with my baby daddy. I don't fuck with my ex. I don't fuck with nobody. And then come to find out, this guy beat her ass later on because he found out that she been stepping out. Man, when a girl for the streets, let her be for the streets. Man, I'm telling you, another way you can tell that she telling a lot of lies. Listen, no woman gonna post every day. Y'all know them women. I ain't even talking about the ones that get paid to post. I'm not talking about the ones that show their ass and twerk and they just for the streets. They on that Sukiyana, sexy red type shit. They done made up their decision. They is who they is. Salute, I respect that. But for the women that got to post every day, they got to post four or five stories a day. They stories just be filled up with bullshit every day. And then they don't think we notice. You post the same picture four times a week. That's screaming for attention. Less is more. See, women, you don't have to look for attention when you are the attention. That's crazy. I'm trying to tell you the lies that they tell. Women are so competitive that it's sad. You know how many girls will post up something. I just got that message and said, I get as many likes as you get, as many views as you get. Why is we even in competition? Why is you even looking at that? Like, it just don't make sense to me. It just don't make sense to me. These are the lies that they tell. Oh, my car messed up. Oh, my God. When they're cheating, I'm telling you. I'm sitting there telling you. My period is on. Oh, my God. Girls use periods, pregnancies. They use a lot of things. You guys put in the comment section. You ladies put in the comment section. Some lies that women tell. Women tell a lot of fucking lies. I'm trying to tell y'all time is money. So I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer. But I had wrote down a couple of things. Because I do a survey. I had put up on my joint. I said, y'all, what's some lies that women tell men? And I got so many comments. Uh, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. And man, so many women start commenting like hell. They start commenting like hell. 
Okay. A woman said, tab flames. Women lie all the time about their sexual history. Even I lie about my sexual history. When they say that you could times it by three, if a girl tell you three, she slept with nine. No, really times that by five, and I'm a woman myself. Women lie about their sexual history so much. They lie about previous relationships. So many girls say, I done lied so much about my previous relationship to manipulate guys. I done lied about my previous relationships. I told them the opposite to make them look that way. Okay. A lot of women say I lied about infidelity in my relationships. I know about things that he done, but I never admitted to things that I done. I never admit to infidelity. These are things that women say that they lie about. All right. A number one thing I saw. A woman say, I'm fine. Meaning this. When a woman say, it's okay. It's fine. It's all right. It's the opposite. It's not okay. It's not fine. It's not all right. Women put me up on game because a lot of women, there's 127 comments under that woman saying that it was like, girl, you ain't lying. I ain't fine. And that, I, I just say that shit. So I'm just telling y'all the lies that women tell y'all. All right. I'm fine, nothing wrong. I was stuck in traffic. You look great in that. She really think you look like young thug, like a bitch in a dress. Babes, I did not do that. My phone died. Oh my God, girls love using my phone died. I had no other way to contact you. I never got the message. Y'all guys all done heard this. I'll call you right back. Y'all listen, man. That's the one I hate the most. I'll call you right back. That shit crazy. If y'all want a part two of this video, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. 72.7% of y'all that watch me is not subscribed. I need y'all all to subscribe to my channel right now. Please, please show me love. Please show me love. Pinned up in the comment section is my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Especially my Instagram, but go to all three platforms. Instagram first, like all my videos. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one face call, just DM me on Instagram at the Real Tab Flames. It's pinned up in the comment section and it remains anonymous. I won't tell you business. I help you out with a one-on-one -on -one face call. You got a business or something you want to promote, I got you. If anything like that, man, support you. See the merch up. Just show your boy love. I love all of y'all. I holler at y'all. Gang.